Every year, Sturgis, South Dakota hosts the largest motorcycle rally in the world and is home to some of the most iconic highways and mountain roads. This year, we set out to see it for ourselves. In today's episode, we tackle a beautiful 850-mile route and unpredictable weather to get from Salt Lake City to Sturgis on our Harley-Davidson motorcycles. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Finally, we're getting some more content up here on <laughs> YouTube for you guys. We're very excited about it. This is gonna be a little bit different from what you normally see on Dan and Shell because it's gonna be minus Shell. Mm. Getting some right now and some Louie right and now. And some Yui. Hi, bud. Me and Louie are gonna be riding solo for the next few days while Daniel goes off on probably one of the most epic adventures you'll ever go on in your life, and I'm not even a part of it. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. I'm a little bitter. I'm a little jealous. I'm not bitter. I'm very excited. It's it's gonna be really, really rad, guys. We picked up this beast, the 2023 Street Glide from Eagle Rider in Salt Lake yesterday. About to pick up my motorcycle for the next while. We're gonna get really closely acquainted on this trip. Let's go see what it's gonna be. right here, 2023 Street Glide with the Tour Pack. I know all of you know how much Shell loves the big cushy seat in the back right here. She's not gonna be riding it though this time. Instead, we're gonna be strapping, I think, a bunch of stuff here. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm gonna pack this out exactly for the trip yet. We'll be figuring that out tonight, but I'm extremely excited about this bike, you guys. We just picked this up at the Eagle Rider location here in South Salt Lake City. Eagle Rider is an exclusive rental company that rents Harley Davidson motorcycles and they are everywhere, guys. They're all throughout the United States. They're even starting to be international. Definitely check them out, eaglerider.com to get your Harley Davidson rental. All right, let's get this home and start packing it out. where he's headed to, drop your comments down below. Might be in the title of this video, we'll find out. <laughs> We're getting it all packed out. I'm riding out to Sturgis. My cousin Matt Laidlaw, who I'll be trying to meet up with later today, they rode up from LA yesterday. Gonna be meeting them on the road today and heading out there. He has planned this entire trip out to South Dakota. We're gonna be riding through the Black Hills, all sorts of the national parks, monuments, everything that there is to see out there. I've never been anywhere out there. I've never seen any of it. And it's gonna be so fun to do on a Harley. Without me. No, oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Kind of a guy's trip. I'm gonna be taking a ton of photos, sending 100%. them back to Shell at night so she trip. can edit them, get them on Instagram for you. So make sure you stay current on Instagram at Dan and Shell for the entire trip because that stuff's gonna be coming at you a lot sooner than these YouTube videos. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing packed out and I'm gonna hit the road. All right, I think I packed pretty well. All I have is this bag, which is 100% camera gear, <laughs> and this bag, which is my clothes for the entire trip. This tour pack is massive. You can fit so much stuff in here. This bag fits just perfectly right inside. Got a few tools for the road, cause you just never know. Probably put my snacks. Thanks, Shelly. Welcome. Peanut butter pretzels and chomps. <laughs> Gonna be living on this stuff for the next couple days. That and fast food. Man, this thing has this rack back here, so I figure why not utilize that? Guys, this is a sentimental bag right here. Comment down below if anyone can remember what the bag is. These went all the way to the top of Kilimanjaro with us and held all of our clothes. They're completely waterproof. So I'm anticipating hitting a little rain on this trip. My cousin Matt said if we're out there for this long, guaranteed we're gonna hit some rainstorms. Got my rain gear right here. 30 bucks, Amazon, not even for riding motorcycles. We'll see how this handles. I'm excited <laughs> to actually have to try and use it. Are you Plus, gonna ride in those flip flops? Uh, standard issue, new bows. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uno mas, for good measure. All the way around. Oh gosh, don't let that fling you in the face. That's a really tight one. You think he's packed? You know, the red bungees kind of throw everything off, don't they? Do we have any black bungees? <laughs> I thought I did. It was this or blue, so. <laughs> and I can still kind of open this. That's pretty much it. Like, That's I'm good. Pretty, I'm pretty packed. Oh, 
Well, you put it on too early. <laughs> about to hit the road. My group is about two and a half hours out. Just enough time for me to get on the road and meet up with them. Hopefully just emerge right into traffic. <laughs> Leaving Shelly here. You're gonna be fine. Love you. I love you. Blasted out of Utah Valley, up Spanish Fort Canyon, and made my way towards Green River, Utah. Not the most direct route, but I wanted to do most of my riding with the guys riding up from Los Angeles and hoped I would get there in time. guys just making my first pit stop right now I've just made it to Green River in Utah this is just off highway 70 and this is the rendezvous point the other guys are not here yet I beat them by a little bit gonna just cool my heels for a sec probably get inside the Maverick because it is insanely hot out here I'm wearing all long sleeves and all that want to keep the Sun off as much as I can because it's brutal out it's been awesome so far really weird riding without shell also riding this long solo but honestly it wasn't that long of a stretch at all I wanted to tell you a little bit more about what the heck we're even doing. Me being from the Salt Lake City area, I'm about a two day ride from Sturgis, South Dakota. Now Sturgis hosts the biggest motorcycle rally in the world. It's a week long event and it's absolutely insane from what I hear. Every motorcycle manufacturer is there, every enthusiast rides out there and it's a week long event. We are actually heading out the week before the big motorcycle rally to do a ton of epic rides through South Dakota and everywhere around that area. And and also get a little taste of the rally at the end of our trip before we make the ride back. Very excited about it guys. Very excited for these guys to show up and get this show on the road. Dude, the boys are rolling in. We got Matt Laidlaw here, the whole Laidlaw's Harley Davidson crew, plus some. Yep, get excited for the ride, definitely. We got a good crew, we got what, like six people or so? We got six now, we're gonna be adding some along the way, maybe adding a few more once we get out to Sturgis. That's right, let's do it. Take your pick. <laughs> I'll take that one, that one looks like it fits me. Ooh. I've never I've seen this before, this is awesome. Box. Get it out of the chill zone. Oh. <laughs> These Californians. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, there's ice on it. It's too oh, icy. Up. Oh, is it my spot? Oh, yeah. Dude, you gotta yes. throw it out. Oh. How refreshing, right? Yes. Yes. Our next stretch of highway was incredibly scenic as we left Utah and crossed into Colorado.
Taking a quick break here on the side of the road. This has been awesome. We've been on the 70, and it's a main highway for sure, but I've never been on a more scenic highway. It's been absolutely incredible. The riding's been absolutely fantastic. The street light is definitely treating me well. We're on our way to Granby, Colorado. We picked a random city outside of Denver on the map to stay tonight, and Granby it is. We're gonna go find something to eat there, hopefully as soon as we get there. We're about an hour out still. We'll be staying there for the night and making the rest of the way to Sturgis tomorrow. We've kind of been stopping every hour, hour and a half, take a quick little break, grab some water, do all that stuff, use the restroom, and it hasn't been too bad at all. I think I'm at 370 miles so far. Grammy's just gonna be over 400, 450. And then I don't think the stretch to Sturgis tomorrow is quite as long as the stretch was today. Our final push for the day took us up into forested areas where the temperatures finally dropped as we approached Granby, Colorado. Alright guys, we just got to El Azteca, the only restaurant open in Granby this late. We got in a little later than we anticipated. Mr. Matt Laidlaw here didn't account for the unpaid fire roads that we had to do, about 25 miles worth. Unintentional, but it was an adventure, so you know it turned out pretty cool actually. The scenery was amazing too. So they were bad. We're just reviewing some of the footage right now on the GoPros. Absolutely epic stuff today. But this is not even the cool stuff, guys. The cool stuff we'll get when we get out to Sturgis. This is just getting there, and it's already this rad. Freaking awesome. We're just waiting for our burritos and then go find our hotel and get some sleep. Wow, look at that. Yes, check in. Thank you, sir. Good morning. We had a great night's rest here at the Silver Creek Lodge just outside of Granby. It was excellent. Had a nice pull out couch. I'm doing great. We got a nice cool morning today. Feels great out here. I'm sure it's gonna heat up a ton. We're about to get on the road. We got about 300 miles up to Sturgis that we're gonna knock out today. Should be some fun, awesome riding. It's gotten so beautiful getting up here in Colorado. And then Sturgis is actually just on the other side of the border in South Dakota. A lot of you probably out there watching are not motorcycle enthusiasts and you don't have to be I'm hoping you're enjoying the video anyways but if you did ever think about learning to ride a motorcycle Harley Davidson actually offers courses at their dealerships where you can go and learn all about the motorcycles and even learn to ride them they have courses set up in their parking lots you learn how to maneuver how to do tight turns how to ride slowly all of that stuff and it's really awesome I really want to actually enroll shell in one of these things she does know how to ride but she's never ridden a big heavy bike like a Harley Davidson. But if any of you are interested, it's maybe worth checking out. Got some preferential parking here last night. Yesterday I had my bag up here on the rack. Today I threw it back down here in the passenger seat. I'm gonna see if that'll be comfortable, kind of give me a little bit of a backrest for these long rides. And this thing's kind of heavy and it was up so high back there. So hopefully over here, it may not be as noticeable that I have a big heavy bag mounted to the bike. Yeah, kind of hoping that maybe it'll be a little more comfortable on the back.
All right guys, we're just pulled over on the side of the road here. Maybe not the best place to park. There's not much traffic here on this main highway, so we've been kind of riding up and down it. Matt and Stefan have been paired up, getting some sick shots of them going up and down the road. Really, really, really cool stuff. It's beautiful out here. Just tall grasses. We got the cows out in the pastures over there. It's beautiful. We got tons of rainstorms all around us. I swear, back there, all along the horizon. I think we're outrunning them because they're all behind us in that direction, and we're going this way no towards anymore. Sturgis. So far, no rain. Still like very interested in trying out my Amazon rain gear, but it may not happen today. Made it to Wheatland, Colorado. I'm so sorry. We're in Wyoming now. Wheatland, Wyoming. We're gonna try out Western Skies Family Diner right here. Great ratings. I think they close in like five minutes, so hopefully they will still seat us because we are all starving. Got a gas station right next door. Gas stations are like our best friends out here on the road on the Harleys. This has been absolutely incredible. Definitely worked up an appetite there. Let's go see what they got. Uh, what, I can... oh, for the music as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My breakfast burrito has got chili all over it. <laughs> Could only outrun the rain clouds for so long and eventually they caught us. We rode straight into a hailstorm on the highway. Thankfully our fairings blocked most of the ice chunks but our exposed shins took a beating. But still, it was a really cool experience to have. Made it. South Dakota. Woo. How's that ride in, boys? All right, after 800 miles for me, a lot more for you guys because they came from California. We made it to South Dakota. Freaking epic. Now there's 50 more miles up to our Airbnb in Sturgis. Yeah, let's go. We hit a little friendly rainstorm or two on our way out here. Most of the time it was in our rearview mirror, but it caught up to us and we got a little wet. Um, some of us are throwing rain gear on. I think I'm just gonna risk it because I don't really want to get mine out. But it wasn't too bad. That big fairing there on the front on the street glide, just my knees down got pretty drenched. Felt like pins and needles hitting it. But we're only about, I don't know, 50 miles out from Sturgis from our Airbnb. So we're gonna hit the road. Probably no more stops from here on out until we get to our destination. You guys, we have made it. We <laughs> finally made it. This ride has been amazing, but it also seemed like it was never ending. I felt, I felt like every time we stopped, it's like, okay, another leg, another leg, another leg, and there's always another leg. But the legs are over. We have made it. This is our Airbnb. We just rolled up into the garage there. Plenty of space for all our bikes. We still have a few more people coming. Six right now. We'll have nine total in a couple days. Plenty of space to store the bikes in there, which is great because it's raining, you guys. It just started pouring. Right as we were pulling up, it started pouring. We have great, great thunderstorms going on right now tons of lightning absolutely epic but this has been the most incredible ride i've never done a ride this long and it was awesome and i give all the thanks to eagle rider and harley davidson for hooking me up with that motorcycle the street glide made it so easy you guys that fairing just blocks everything keeps the wind off keeps the rain off i put some highway pegs on there get my feet up nice and high and comfortable mm, thunder it is honestly the best cruise control is a huge lifesaver on the throttle wrist i hope you guys have been 
been enjoying all the sick motorcycle content, definitely go check out Matt Laidlaw. He has the ultimate Harley Davidson YouTube channel. He'll be posting a lot of stuff from this trip as well on his channel that may or may not be featuring yours truly. We'll see if he edits me out, but make sure you check him out, Matt Laidlaw. Thank you all for watching. Even if you aren't a motorcycle enthusiast, thank you for the support. Really love making these videos for you guys. Try to go next level for every single one of them. Make sure you stay tuned because that was just the ride here. Now we will be riding all around the Black Hills, South Dakota, all sorts of epic stuff. So make sure you stay tuned, come back, and we'll see you next time.